everybody, Paula Spivey out here at Lakewood 400. I'm outdoors enjoying this glorious day and this glorious weather. I'm enjoying our outdoor dealers and just um, ran into something I want to run by you guys because I'm not really sure what these are. I mean, I think they're used for fire pits, but they are the really most unique fire pit um, type of thing I've ever seen. I'm not really sure maybe what they were uh, prior to becoming a fire pit. And How are you? Hey, are you the... Uh, they're old syrup kettles is what they are. I'm Paula Spivey. Henry, Henry hi. Henry, nice to meet you. They're and old syrup kettles. They're syrup kettles. and okay. uh, Doesn't matter if you're raised in Boston on maple syrup or raised in Maryland on sorghum syrup or raised in the south on cane syrup. And these were for cane syrup. You took the juice of the plant and you boil the water out of it. So these were huge boiling vats. Notice that they're four sizes and we've got about a hundred They are. I notice, yeah, they're going small to larger. Look at this, like. Paula. Some of them are marked. This one's Columbus Ironworks out of Columbus, Georgia. Oh, look at that. It's 1855 to 1974. This one's out of Savannah. Oh my gosh. This one's a Kehoe. It's 1870 to 1930. So you know they're going to last. They're 100 <laughs> years old already. Right? Yeah. Because I've, I've bought some of those uh, not so great fire pits that don't make it very long. But dimensionally, they're between they're four beautiful. and five feet. And uh, they also make good fountain bases. If you look down here. Oh my here, gosh! Guys, look at this. You gotta see this. This is beautiful. And we can build fountains out of any of the sizes. Oh, this is beautiful. The, the millstones are original. The kettles are original. Oh, nice. Tell me about what? How do you build this? What? Tell me about this piece in the center. Here. It came out of a Meadows mill, which came out of North Wilkesboro, North Carolina. It's a, uh, it's an original millstone. And I and take. Tell, a, tell a, what's a millstone for those of us. A millstone is for grinding grain, generally corn, into grits. Oh. And that's how I got started. That's the reason my company's name is millstones.com. And I have a lot of these millstones. Nice. But we were. Look at this. My God. This one's out of Spruce Pine, North Carolina. These are gigantic. They are. I've got about a hundred of them in Covington. So they. So you can use them for centers of your fountain. But what else? Do they do? Because they, because they were part of the harvest, they're symbols of hospitality. So people put them in their walkways, in their driveways. Kind of incorporate them sure. into their in their landscapes. And that's right. Oh, that's Flush beautiful. mounts in a patio is the way you most often see them. Gosh, they're really beautiful. They're and really, they're, I love the patina on that one. They're all unique. Look at the tabletop. Look how thin it is. Oh, how and what this, you have to envision, that was out of Opelika. Really Alabama. Opelika, Alabama. It used to be this thick. Out, yeah. And they wore it out. What? I didn't cut it down. They wore it out. Now look at the potato. Is this all natural? Yes. This is all I love it. The all original. I love it. And this is what about this um This band is on here band. because it was broken. Okay. See it? Oh wow. So it's actually holding it together. Did you put did I you did. make this? Wow. I did. That is beautiful. Now, what does something like these typically weigh? And, uh, you know, granite weighs 165 pounds a cubic foot. So you use so your you high school geometry of oh power square times the height. Oh my gosh, that was pretty good in geometry. Uh, but that stone probably weighs about 1,800. This one about 1,400. And this one weighs about 500. Wow. Now, <laughs> say someone was one, it was interested, how would one get one from my point price, A to point B? My price includes delivery and setup on oh, all of this. That's beautiful. So, okay. Fire pits and fountains, and, and, I, and I delivered the millstones on a pallet. That's beautiful. So you take care of the... The hard work. The hard, hard work. You just... And that's within a two-hour radius. If, if you live beyond two hours from here, then we work something out, but it's generally pretty reasonable. Nice, nice. Well, this is fantastic. And how did you stumble into this business? You know, my father was a cotton merchant in Rome, Georgia. I'm in the middle of five children, so we lived in five houses uh -huh. in Rome, Georgia. And we always had a millstone that we uh -huh. always left like that. Oh, beautiful. That's how we left them. So and that was your symbol, that was your... That's how we got started. Got and we started. figured out nobody was collecting them, so we started building a story around it. Oh, nice. So it's, it's really sentimental and it's really personal. It's you. been fun. It's been fun. It's been something to do. And oh it, my it beats a real job, if you said that. <laughs> okay. I could, I, could, I could believe that. Well, guys, get down here and see Henry. You're here Please all do. weekend, right? I'm here. 
And I'll be I'll be inside selling butcher blocks tomorrow and Sunday, but okay. I'm generally right here. Jeff's gonna be out here. Okay, but it, come out here. It's gorgeous. I'll come out here and meet with you. And Henry will meet you personally and tell you even more if you, we haven't covered everything about these gorgeous uh, syrup kettles and these uh, granite. Uh, millstones are absolutely stunning. You really need to see them in person. So get on out here. We want to see you soon. And Henry, thank you. Paula, it was a thank pleasure. you. Nice Thanks to meet you. Time. Same here. Appreciate your time. See y'all.